Hello friends, uh, hope you're doing good. Uh, welcome to Bit Infotain. I'm BJ. I'm back with uh, yet another video on iPhone. And today's topic is uh, how to schedule an SMS and customize messages in iPhone by way of a feature called Shortcuts. And this feature uh, started coming along with iOS 13 as the inherent bundle of apps along with US uh, but otherwise um, this app in case if you're running uh, an iOS that uh, you know which is lesser than 13 version you can still download it from the App Store and and this is uh, one of the uh, strongest and powerful uh, feature that uh, iPhone has and um, it will kind of give you the flexibility and a certain good amount of uh, uh, creativity that you can realize um, so in this video uh, I'm going to show three different examples uh, where uh, the first uh, example or uh, you know the scenario would be about sending a standard SMS uh, a static SMS uh, at um, uh, a certain time which means uh, either you can send an SMS on a daily basis or a weekly basis or you can choose a future date at a certain time that you can trigger this um, SMS and it will go automatically you would you wouldn't won't know about it so uh, in case um, you know you want to remind something or in case a scenario where you want to I wish somebody on their birthday or something so just to make sure that you don't forget on that particular date um, you know you're set up in such a way that your iPhone does the job for you so uh, the second scenario would be about uh, uh, sending an SMS uh, in a similar way like sample one but uh, a slight change in the SMS body is that uh, you know not all the text or certain amount of text would be dynamic dynamic in the sense like I can pick a value or uh, you know I can have a value from the system say for example I can pick the value from the system's current date and time so I can embed that in the SMS body and I can send it just just this just for an example uh, the opportunity or maybe your creativity um, will, would still be a playground in order to explore and find out what what else kit that you can do it so as an example I'm going to show uh, you would still be sending an SMS but uh, it will embed uh, the the date and time uh, on which uh, you know this SMS uh, would go so that's the second example third example would be to create a shortcut where when you click on the shortcut it will send an sms with the location that you are in right now and location i would uh, i mean here is not the entire location but just the town and city is what i'm going to show as an example here so so whenever you click on that shortcut uh, it will just send an sms to recipients that you have chosen uh, maybe one or more recipients will receive an sms uh, with the location uh, from where this sms is going from your side right so wherever that you are in so you can use that shortcut in whichever town that you're in uh, so it will pick up that location and you know send that uh, so it might just ring a bell for you right in order to create something you know where uh, uh, on an emergency or at a certain point of time you know if you want to tap it on an nfc tag or something which can even trigger it so because your iphone supports nfc so i'm just thinking large where you can actually attach it to the NFC where uh, nobody knows you just have to click on the iPhone to just make it wake up and then uh, tap it on the NFC and this particular shortcut can be executed so it's just uh, a thought so it lets you explore um, or you know gives you a playground in order to explore more creativity and then um, you know get the work done um, so so that's it so let's uh, begin uh, with the session hope you will enjoy it and and uh, uh, sit tight thank you
Okay, so let's see how do we schedule a standard SMS. So I'll go to the shortcut and I'll click on automation tab and create personal automation. Then you can see a lot of um, options uh, which actually can trigger certain actions that you you can put in. So I'm selecting time of day here. So where you have different options of uh, timing. Uh, daily, weekly, monthly is an option where I can actually select a future date. So I'm selecting the same date uh, and uh, you know uh, uh, today's date, and then I'm putting a time of 5:56. Right now it's 5:54. Then um, I'm adding an action. So action is nothing but to send a message, right? So I'm going to search for message. Select the message here send message then i'll type the test uh, you know auto message as the text of the message body i'm putting the recipient as uh, myself my number so it will loop back to the, to the same numbers so then when i click on next uh, you can see there is an option called ask before running so if you keep it on what happens is your message doesn't go it will wait for your confirmation. So I don't want that to happen right now. I just want this to go automatically. So I'll press done. As you can see, the shortcut is created to run at 556. Now it is 555. So we just have to wait a little while. Um, and as soon as it becomes 556, as you can see, now it's running. Shortcut is running and uh, the message is coming. So now you can go to the message and see. Um, see the the test auto message which I sent and then test auto message is the text which I received back. So it's a simple way where uh, you can actually schedule a message which you can send it at any time in future or at a certain set uh, recurrent time period. You can delete it by swiping left the created automation shortcut and delete it. So you can create it uh, more of it and you can actually uh, maintain it here the gallery uh, shows the uh, predefined or some you know uh, shortcuts which are already there which you can use it so i'll come to the shortcut part of it my shortcut part of it later uh, so let's uh, uh, go to the shortcut and then again we'll try to create a second example where same time of the day I'm going to use the same date and then um, now it's 7 4 p.m. I'm going to change it to 7 7 or 8 I think 7 we'll take it as 7 7 p.m. so at that point of time this automation will start running so I'll add an action it would be I'll click on the scripting part of it and then I'll go down and I'm going to use set variable so this is nothing but I'll use a variable which is uh, I'll name a variable called D and then I will say take the current date if I if I long press on the input, uh, you know, it gives me an option of either taking something out from the list. So I chose current date. So in that variable, I have a current date now. Now what I'll do is I'll send the message. So it's the same procedure what we did in the previous example. So I'll just pick up the message. The only thing is that in this text message, uh, I will have uh, kind of both. So I've selected the D uh, is the variable. And I'll send it to myself and I'll change the text a little bit in the sense like uh, I'll try to put some text as well as uh, along with this variable so that a certain part would remain static the other one uh, takes a dynamic value so I'll say test uh, custom message custom SMS on and then what happens is it puts the date and time and then I would say probably I'll say date. So what happens is it is going to say testing custom SMS on and it will put that particular date to which on which it is running and then at the end of it it says date. So I'll suppress ask before running so that it runs of its own. 
then I'll complete it. So as you can see, it has created the automation shortcut. So now I'll wait until it becomes 77. So now it's 77. As you can see, shortcut is giving a notification that it's running it, and then the message has come. So it's the same thing. Now I'm seeing it testing custom SMS on 30th July at 7 7 p.m. As you can see that it has embedded evaluator. It's a uh, simple thing I have used a current date here but uh, as is you know you can always uh, use your own creativity to get something here and of course uh, whatever the limitations that Apple has so you have to go with that but you can think about with those limitations what else that you can make um, you know a shortcut of it so so that's uh, second part of it and uh, now let's see another uh, sample where I'm going to create a shortcut rather than going to the automation. I will be in the short, uh, automa my automation page and then I'll plus, click on plus and then I'm going to say again, this time get location. And when I scroll down, I can see there is a get current location, an option. So when I click on it, so what it does is it takes the current location and puts it in the clipboard or let's say in the uh, placeholder internally. So what I'll do is I'll bring that into a variable. So I will say L as a variable name and I'll say in when I click on the current location. So I have options like you know what I want. Uh, so I'll just click on town city and select that. So what happens is now the variable L will contain uh, you know the town or city from where I'm sending this. So, and then third part is the same what we have seen again send messages. It picks up the default value of L or otherwise when you long press it, you can always select it. But it picks it off its own just for your convenience. So, I am going to say testing auto message uh, from and then the city will come. Then I will just say space city. So if it's uh, wherever you, you are in, if you're in Dallas, or if you're in New York, or if you're in Bangalore. So I'm going to use my own ID here, um, I mean my phone number, but you can add more numbers if you want. In that show more, you can say, sh you can disable that show and run. It is the same like ask before running. And then I'll give a name to the shortcut. Uh, I will say, send my location. This is the name that I'm putting in. So, as you can see, this shortcut is created here. So, if I click on the shortcut, it will run. So, um, so you have to make sure that the location is on uh, before running this uh, because it requires the location access. Now, as you can see, the message has come. So, I am right now in Bangalore city. So, it um, sends that message with testing auto message from so and so city yep so I can delete this message so now what what we can do is in fact you can bring this uh, shortcut into the home screen so if you long press and take the details part of it uh, and you there is an option called add you can add it to home screen so it's added done now if I go to the home screen see there you can see that it's added so I can just click on it it will still run from there so at any point of time if you need to run this uh, you know rather than automate uh, you know rather than automate it I mean to run at a particular time or something I can run it at, at my wish so that's a shortcut uh, so you need not have to search for the location of your own and then send a message or something that you can do it. So there is a lot of an opportunity uh, to explore more here and see what you can do about it. You can remove this uh, bookmark by long pressing it and then you know choosing a delete option. And uh, you can delete this shortcut as well. Unlike swiping left, you can have to long press it and then use the delete option here. So you can delete it at any point of time if you don't want this shortcut. 
just to tell you this shortcut you can actually run it um, by triggering through an, an NFC tag or something which I might cover uh, in successively yep so thanks a lot uh, for watching this video let me know your comments uh, I'll be back with more such uh, 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 videos uh, in the coming days as such thanks for time